Everyone who scores 700 is extremely smart. Despite that, only one in four, a mere 25% of students who achieve a 700 go on to scoring a 740. This dismal statistic is not because of lack of trying or time spent, but because of lack of a process to attain this improvement. To improve from 700 to 740 in weeks, a student faces three challenges. First, she needs to define precisely where the score improvement will come from. Then she needs a specific improvement plan to achieve this improvement. And lastly, she needs to confirm whether she has improved. At EGMAT, we call these hyper-specific improvement plans. And we build hundreds every month. Let us see a real life success story. Here is a student who improved from Q48 to Q50, improving from a 710 to 740. The first step is to define where to improve. Since the student scored a 710 and is at Q48, which is 67th percentile, and V40, which is 91st percentile, it was clear that Quant provided more headroom for improvement. As a first step, we narrowed down the subsections within Quant that provided the most scope of improvement. By leveraging the recency analysis in Scholaranium, we identified that the student is weaker in algebra and word problems. In this video, we are going to focus just on algebra. Algebra is vast, spanning at least 40 hours of learning. Considering that Vireshwar was doing well in medium questions, it did not make sense for him to go through the entire algebra course again. Therefore, the next challenge was to define precisely where to focus within algebra. Here, the block level analysis within algebra was a lifesaver. While looking at the block level, data clearly indicated that Viresh were needed to focus on two topics, linear inequalities and quadratic equations. So in just five minutes, the stats in Scholaranium allowed the strategy team to define two blocks out of 40 possible blocks that Viresh were needed to focus on. Therefore, Viresh were's problem statement became I need to get better at solving hard difficulty questions in algebra by getting better in quadratic equations and linear inequalities. Now the second step is to create an improvement plan. Doing this was simple using the quant2.0 architecture. Vireshwar needed to revise process skills and GMAT skill files in these modules. He needed to do a strategic review of all mistakes from questions solved in Scholaranium. The third and final step is to confirm this improvement, a process that was powered by Scholaranium's custom quiz engine. Vireshwar just took improvement quizzes in these topics to confirm that he had indeed improved and test readiness quizzes to confirm that he can maintain his performance in mixed quizzes. Therefore, in a few days, Vireshwar went from Q48 to Q50 by identifying where he needed to improve and then by creating and executing his improvement plan.